Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Team is part of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, and this is an international organization, and there are rings throughout the whole world. It could be from just someone who has a slight interest in magic to professionals. We welcome all. We have junior magicians to magicians who are close to 100 years old. And what's great about, especially our Ring 317, is we value all people that come in. We meet once a month, the third Tuesday of every month, at the Parker Geriatric Center in New Hyde Park, New York. We exchange ideas, we help each other, we, we perform with each other and we give each other the, the backup to be better magicians. Wait, I just get the... Oh, I feel better now. Go ahead. I've been doing this uh, about 40 years. I was a little skinny Italian from Queens, New York, and uh, girls wouldn't look at me. When you started doing little coin tricks and card tricks, then they started looking at you like, he knows what he's doing. He must be a smart kid. I think maybe I'll go to a movie with him or something, you know? Which trick gets the most women? Geez, I don't know. Uh, the one that got my wife. The trick was where I took two pieces of tissue paper and I put them together after I tore them apart and they formed a hat, which I gave her, which she still has pressed in some book somewhere in our home. She still has the first trick I ever did for her. I do comedy magic. I, I believe comedy magic is the best kind of magic to do because if you are getting a reaction and making people laugh and making them feel like they're having a, a good time, then you're doing your job, and the best way to do that is to make them laugh. One, two, three. I've been part of the Brotherhood for five years. Uh, I love magic, uh, I'm a kid at heart, and uh, they do good things. Uh, we meet at Park and Jewish Geriatric Center, and every month they, they do a show for the people there, as well as have our uh, monthly meeting there. So it's a great, uh, a great event that we have this charity event uh, at the Long Island Children's Museum. In Macy's, there was a magician. Uh, everybody knows him. He, he was the guy who inspired David Copperfield, and he had a deck. It's called the Spengali deck and you could pick any card out and it would always be the eight of hearts. So <laughs> it was quite an amazing trick, yeah. And let me just show you one, one quick trick for marmalade. We do the famous Indian rope trick. Marmalade. Have you got the rope, marmalade? On a count of three, marmalade, don't drop the rope. On a count of three, do the magic in it. Listen, she's only a bird. Let's see, one, two, three, Alan Cadabra. And there it is, blow on the rope and take the magic away. Ta-da, you're terrific, give her a hand, okay. That's enough marmalade, that's enough. Would you stop it? I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. I started magic when I was 21, and I'm about 77 now. I like to uh, do it at hospitals for cancer kids like we do. Uh, Ring 317, which I'm the membership chairman of. Uh, we have our meetings at Parker, uh, which is right next to a Long Island Jewish hospital. And what we do once a month, we go upstairs on the third floor and we do our magic for an hour for the patients there. And uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. They just forget their problems. It's just an unbelievable thing. Magic is just out of this world, if you want to put it that way. I was 21 years old, and uh, I saw somebody uh, do a magic trick, and I saw the expression on the people's faces. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I can contribute and make people happy, and I think that's what it's all about. My favorite trick was um, the one where like, the, uh, the table went up. One of the magicians said that this is a girl getter. And I proposed to my wife doing, using magic, believe it or not, which was pretty cool. I made the, the ring, ring appear, actually. From behind her ear? Yeah, well, no, a little bag that I had that was empty, and then she went in there, she put some tin foil, wrapped it up, put it in there, and she pulled out a ring. It's the coolest trick I think I've ever done. <laughs> did she ever figure out how you did it? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she knows all my tricks. Now let me just show you a little bit of close-up magic. Take a little dust off the jacket just like this, do you see that? Here, watch, I'll do it again.
like a lot of kids, my, my father took me to see David Copperfield when I was a little kid, and he actually got called up on stage as a volunteer. So I said, I was just so enraptured, I, I knew I had to do something with that, so I've always been involved. I do what, what, we, call, what we call a manipulation, sleight of hand with cards, coins, balls, really simple things. I like to keep it simple, make it visual, make it fun for the kids, fun for the adults too. It's just a regular uh, deck of cards you buy at any grocery store. But uh, I've learned to do some neat things with them. All right. Here we go. Like we can just make half the cards disappear just like that. My grandchildren have come also with their classes on class trips and things like that. It's a wonderful place. We're going out now after this uh, performance and we're going to the museum and we're going to, as, as Miranda says, she says, well, could we play with the museum thing because it's all hands on. So it's great, it's great, it's a great outing for the family. What was your favorite trick? When they drew one up. How do you think that's done? It's magic. <laughs>